Hello everybody, uh, this is going to be quite an easy tutorial, um, just another tutorial on tools, uh, shouldn't be too hard this one, it's just a small one. Okay, so first start off by entering a, inserting a tool into the workspace, inside that tool put a part in there, uh, name that part handle for obvious reasons, um, put a script inside, actually no, put a local script. We're going to use a local script because local scripts only run inside the player player's GUI. No, yeah, inside the player's GUI or the player character. So local scripts they only run inside the player or the character. If you put a local script into the workspace, it would not work. Okay, so local script because the tool is going to be inside the character, so we don't really need to use a normal script, just a local one. Uh, we're going to call that tool. Uh, Key pressing, just because we're going to be learning about the key key down event today. Okay, so first off, player equals game dot players dot local player. Okay, so in the per in the past tutorials, um, I think I did a tools part one um, tutorial. And then I did the next part for the tools tutorial, but I didn't call it tools part two. I called it mouse, no, not mouse. I think I called it local scripts. And then the next tutorial was about mouses. So this tutorial is going to be like on the key down event, just because I want to teach you about the key down event. So say you want to make like a tool, like a gun or a plane tool, where if you want to press the the letter R or the letter C, then it does something. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you today the key down event. Now it's not really that hard, I mean it's something that you probably could have learned yourself just by uh, using common sense from yeah, you've got inbuilt events, so you've got events like the move event on the mouse, so when you move your mouse then it updates the X and Y coordinates. This is just a key down event, so all you've got to do is like say tool.keydown connect you get the key parameter and then you can use that so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you how to do that just cuz cause, cause, cause I wanted to just in case there's people out there who doesn't who who don't yet know how to do it so let's start uh, tool equals script dot parent okay yep no actually no no I need to move the local script into the tool not the handle okay so now tool equals script dot parent tool dot uh, tool dot equipped uh, connect function uh, end okay now the reason I'm not doing the key down event yet is because I need to get the mouse first so let's put a mouse here I'm using the event mouse so what I can do with the event mouse here is I can do mouse dot key down now the key down event does come from the mouse and not the keyboard okay so just to let you know when you're using the key down event if you want to type a key it comes from the mouse and not the keyboard that's just how it works and that's why I wanted to do this key down event tutorial okay so connect that to a function again and end that okay so now inside our equipped event we've got a key down event so it's like an event within an, an event. It's not that hard, just learn it. So <laughs> we've got the key down event. Now the key down event comes with a parameter, which is called key. And it gives you the key in a string format. So it gives you the actual string of the key that you press. So if I press the letter H, if I were to print key, it would print the letter H, OK? Uh, I'm not going to play, because I want to keep the tutorial short, but you can play it yourself. Uh, start server, start player, and test it yourself if you want. Okay, so key down. Now let's say if uh, key equals h. Now remember, it's got to be in the uh, quotations marks, speech marks, whatever you want to call it, because it's a string. Okay, so that's why it's got to be in the quotation marks. So if key equals h, then print. Uh, you pressed H um, okay else print uh, why you know press H okay so you should kind of figure out what that will do if I press the H key 
it will print this. Let me just zoom in. Uh, if I don't print, press the H key, it will press this. It will print this, okay? And that's what this does. That's what this script does. So let's go ahead and test it. Once I cut the tool, stick it into the starter pack. Now let's go and test it in Play Solo and see what it does. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I've got my tool. Uh, if I press H, it doesn't work because I should not be in Play Solo. I should be in Test Start Server and then Start Player. And for reasons I don't know, I don't know why it doesn't work in st Play Solo, but that's just what you have to do. You should start getting used to going to Start Server, Start Player whenever you want to test something like script related. If you want to test like buildings then yeah play solo do that but we are scripters and we use start server start player. Now we're getting an error. Player is not a valid member of data. Oh, goodness sake. Okay. Let's go and fix that. I said ga uh, player equals game dot player dot local player. Well no as you can see here it's players not player. That was a typo. So let's go back to start server and start player. Okay. So yep, yeah, just to let you know, when you're testing script like this, don't do play solo. Scripts work better when you go to start server, start player. especially leaderboards. When you're testing a leaderboard you need to go start server, start server, start player. Okay, so keep pressing, that's our tool. Uh, press H, here we go, you pressed H. Press G, why you know press H. So it does work, as you can see. It works perfectly. And yeah, that is what it does. So now let me show you something quickly. If you go to help, object browser, uh, mouse, and then find the key down event here we go event key down it argument string key as you can see it gives you the key in a format of a string and there's also the key up event so when you release the key it will you can make it do something as well so let's change this to whoops let's change this to key up and same thing applies, it parses the, the argument of key. Uh, so if I release the H key, then let's say you released the H key. Uh, thanks for letting go of me. That was painful. Okay, so <laughs> that's what it's going to print when I release the H key and then if I don't release the H key it will say why you know release H okay so I hope you understand what that does now key down means okay I've pressed H yes I've pressed it so print this uh, key up means I've released it I've put my finger off the H button my fingers no longer touching the H button okay so Yep, and those are the key down and key up events. You can go ahead and test key up for yourself if you want. I'm not going to test it because I want to keep the tutorial short. Okay, so there's going to be one more tutorial about tools after this. It's not really going to be a tool. It's going to be something else, not a tool, but it's going to be somehow related to tools. So, yep, I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Bye.